Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how to create the cylinder text effect in Adobe After Effects. I first saw this text effect in Ezra Cohen's kinetic pack that he sells. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll also leave that in the description. But yeah, I found a way how to do this really easily in Adobe After Effects. So today I'm going to teach you how to do that. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is make your composition. So my composition is just for a normal YouTube video, a 1080p video. Um, now you want to type in your text. I'm going to leave the font I'm going to use in this video in the description. So you want to press on the text tool and just click anywhere on the screen. I'm going to be using Helvetia new LT standard. So this is one of my favorite fonts. Um, it's just a really wide font. I think it actually works pretty well for this type of effect. You don't want a tall font for this effect wide fonts just work better because it is a cylinder and most of the time when i see this effect people use wide fonts so i'm going to type in create i'm going to make this all caps actually create and i'm going to make sure it's aligned in the middle so you can go to window align if you don't see it so mine appears right here and now we have this and essentially what we're going to do is we're going to repeat this text a bunch of times and we're going to make it 3d so the first uh, effect we're going to use is called hex tile. So I typically use this effect when I want to repeat something. So in one of my previous tutorials on how to make looping animations, looping backgrounds, I use this effect. It's actually reptile, not hex tile. My bad. Um, so I'm just going to drag it onto my text over here. So if you extend right, it just repeats a bunch of times. Extend left, it does the same thing. Expand down, same thing. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to expand the text and then we're going to sort of join them together. Right now we're not going to adjust any settings. Um, so I'm just going to keep it as is. But before we do anything, we want to make sure that this text is rotated. So you want to press R and I'm just going to type in 90 or maybe 270. Yeah, 270. Um, so you want it facing this way. It actually doesn't matter that much. It's just easier for me to do this way. And I'm just going to align it right in the middle. And now we're going to go to effects and presets and we're going to search up CC cylinder. I'm going to drag it onto the text. And now this basically makes it 3D. So once we go to reptile and we just adjust some of the settings, so we can see what that does. So if we expand the right and left, basically it'll join them sideways. So if we do expand up and down, you can see what it does. Um, but we're actually going to be working with expand right and left. So you just want to increase it. Um, to the max so that it forms all the way around now what we're going to do is we're going to go to cc cylinder we want to go to rotation and depending on what type of angle you want you just want to adjust the xyz so let's just say you want this face up you can just set it to 90 i believe but to actually animate it you want to be adjusting the y rotation so you want to set a keyframe at the very beginning and then depending on how many spins or cycles you want, you'll adjust the first number. So let's just say I want it to spin five times over 30 seconds. That's how it would look like. So I'm gonna press U. We're gonna move this keyframe to the end. So let me just play it on quarter quality so it's a little bit faster. So you can see what that does. This is actually a little bit faster than I would want. Maybe Let's not do five, let's do three. So something like this is cool. So we're essentially done the cylinder effect, but I'm going to just show you some things you can add. So one thing you can do is you can adjust the X rotation and you can actually have it spin at the same time as the Y rotation is spinning. Um, I'm not sure how that would look like. And it might be distracting. You can even just move it a little bit. Um, so let's just say we want to set a keyframe right here. So X rotation. And toward the end, we just want it to shift so that it faces the front. So zero. So let's just move it toward the. So it starts here. And then as it goes on, it'll rotate. 
so that it faces the front. Or you can just keep it uh, facing forward, which I prefer. Now what you can do is you can add a glow to it or you can add CC light rays. So CC light rays adds like a light burst almost. The reason you want to do this is because the lighting on this particular composition is very flat. It doesn't look real. So adding CC light rays or any sort of lighting uh, will do. So I'm just going to add CC light rays. I'm going to add the center right in the middle and maybe make it a little bit softer. So what this does is mimic a light right in the middle. So you can see as it spins, there's dynamic lighting. Or what you can do is just search up glow and the whole thing glows. And you just would adjust the glow uh, threshold a little bit. I prefer the light rays though. So this is how it would go. And the final thing you can do is if you want to change the color, you can just drop the fill effect and preset on and you can just select a color very simply like this. And yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you like tutorials like this, there's going to be an After Effects playlist, including a bunch of different videos I've made in the past on Adobe After Effects. And yeah, that's about it for this video. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.